What's up guys and gals? Today we're going to look at a Bait Runner 6500 uh, that was brought in to me the other day as part of a set of some reels that a local person who was uh, also a subscriber on the channel uh, brought to me. Now he did say that these reels weren't serviced ever, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say they haven't been serviced in over 20 years. That being said, he did say him and his father did wash these things down uh, after every use, which it does look like it's it's well maintained in general so and any every, every test that I've done on this the bail flip works well with just the flip by itself with the handle works as well the bait runner feature works let's open it all the way up that works well if we tighten this all the way down feels a little bit loose doesn't feel as strong as it could be uh, that's probably because some of the drag washers on the bottom here in the right in the rear drag would be uh, stuck and not really functioning properly that happens all the time on these reels uh, so even though everything looks and functions like it seems like it should it's practically impossible for anything to not have been serviced in that length of time and for nothing to be wrong with it now I can certainly be wrong about that I'm not saying I'm right but I think if there's anything wrong with it, it's quite minimal. So let's find out together. We'll start with the drag, see how they look. We know the clicker work, but we tested out it already. So I'm just gonna open these up and check out the drags. All right, let's go ahead and pop this out. Let's see what we're looking at. And there you have it. I mean, in general, these drags look good. Yeah. Not something I would replace. I can say that right off the bat, unless they want them change. If for my reel, I would just keep them the way they are, and obviously service them. Now, if you're looking at how to service or fully break down one of these reels, you can check my library. Just do a, a search for bait runner in my video library, and you'll find one that's broken down. There's a few in there that you can use as examples. Now, for these handles, uh, depending on the reel. You gotta be careful that it's not one of those that's the pass-through kind of handle, and you have to open it from this side. There should be a screw on this side that removes uh, the attachment to the handle. This one's not obvious as you can see, but everything works on that handle. I mean, the only thing we have is a little bit of stiffness on this. All we need to do is add some oil inside there, some around there, maybe some on the bottom, kind of work it in and it'll be fine. One thing I didn't check was the line roller, but as we can see there, that works well. Um, when these things are s set up for a long time, opening these things up or removing that screw to break this down can be a little tricky. So I'm going to try it. If it works great, if it doesn't, then we're going to stop. But you got to get a feel for how much tension you're putting on that when you're undoing this uh, the screw here. And it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove it. But still taking my time. I'm not putting any uh, corrosion X or anything inside there, as you can see, or any penetrant, because it's very difficult to get in, to get inside there and work. And I don't really think it needs it. But you can certainly feel that this is dry when you're backing it up. Now we're at a point where I can use this, and we should be fine. And if you can't tell, what I'm doing here is kind of just doing a complete overhaul in this reel. So, all these parts will be taken apart. Now we're going to open this up. We can see there's some, some corrosion inside there. And I can spray some corrosion X inside there, let that work a little bit. While that's working, I'm going to release or open up those three screws there, but I have one more under here to, to undo. Let's see if we can get this off. Yeah, it's coming out, which is good. And I will tell you right now that that right there, the fact that this can come out and, and this not to be have, have been serviced in so long is a testament to taking care of your reel. Even though there's a little bit of corrosion there, washing th these reels down really does help a lot after every use. It really does. 
Otherwise, I could have been stuck, frozen, sheared off, broken, whatever, and make this is a diff more difficult process. And let's see. That came off of there, so we'll put that back for you. Let's look at the bearing first. It spins, and that's always good. Because even if... Wow, that's nice. That's nice. No rust around it or anything. That's really nice. Might need a little bit of refurbishment, but yeah, not bad at all. Uh, if you want to see a video on refurbing, you or refurbing the bearings, you can check my video library again. Type in bearing refurbishment or something to that effect. It should come up for you guys. All right, so we're gonna pop this shaft out so we can access or pull the um, pull the main gear out or the drive gear out, and then all the other stuff, so we can see inside and have a very good idea of what's going on. But I can tell you that what I'm looking at here does not look bad at all. Really doesn't. I'm quite impressed so far. All right, let's see what we have going on on this side. Pretty dry inside there. That's par for the course if it hasn't been serviced. Let's check the bearing out. This one looks all right as well. Feels okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff that uh, can be wrong with this reel. And I think that's gonna be the general theme. All right, let's pop this off and see. That looks good also. Switch we have not checked. Switch works. Again, this really is just a testament to, to how the reel has been maintained in terms of just uh, rudimentary, right? Just uh, washing it down. Not even worrying about the service part. I'm not saying it shouldn't be serviced because it should be, but can you get away with not servicing a reel? I mean, this is a clear example that you can. We feel some parts of here that are stuck. And that's just because it's not been serviced, but I mean, other than that, not a whole lot of stuff going on. He also has some TLD 25s that are the same kind of scenario. So I'll probably do a video on one of those and see how that works out. But in general, I like what I see. We'll have one last thing to check and that's up here at the pinion. And I'm guessing that it's probably gonna be the same kind of thing. But we won't know until we check. So that comes right off easily, which <laughs> is rare for that to happen. I am finding some hair inside here. So obviously stuff can work its way inside, but yeah, I'm liking it. This comes out cleanly. A little bit of rust right there. A little bit of rust around the pinion. We can see that. And that's stuck. Well, we finally found something that's wrong with the reel. Let me use this method. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. Uh, and this is a great example, actually, of having a reel that's graphite but still getting stuck because of rust building up and, and freezing that in there. So if you see right inside there, there's rust on inside that, that cavity right there. And there's some rust around that bearing. Bearing still works. So what I'm gonna do is use the reel, I'm sorry, use reuse the bearing, but I will clean it off and make it nice and pretty. Uh, yeah, man, I mean, that's it. it, it everything looked good. I like what I see. I have no real complaints on how he took care of the reel. Uh, yeah. A lot less things happening are going on with it than I would expect. But at least we found something that was wrong with the reel. So this doesn't look like a total waste of time. Uh, these are probably, no, let's not say, not frozen, which is good. Let's see if this comes apart. We know it does or it should because we were adjusting the tension earlier. 
Yeah, at this point I'm just rambling because it's it's good. Let me show you this part. Remember we had the issue with the drag washer or the, the, the rear drag washer. This is the one that typically gets, typically gets stuck. And it gets stuck on a lot of reels. It's not just ones that have not been serviced. So we just kind of use a blade. Make sure you get under it because you can damage these things and you, you can, I don't think you can replace these things. So just be very careful when you take it off. All right, I think the general moral of this story is to wash your reels down. I mean, and if you do, you can you can possibly stave off a reel that just gets damaged uh, along the way without even without even servicing it. Does not mean you shouldn't again, like I said, but if you want to stand a chance of having your reel last you a long time, then do what this gentleman did and just wash it down after every use. All right, guys, if you found the video useful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you appreciate content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.